everybody. Welcome to the Crane Connection. I am your host, Sarah Snell Cook. I am here today with two really interesting people with a really interesting story. Um, on my left, probably your right, I've got uh, Shane Knighton, uh, who is the Vice President of Business Lending at Travis Credit Union. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Mm, yes, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And the founder of Diablo Dog, which is a really cool business, uh, Matt Heikala. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. So, you know, we were kind of connected because of this cool uh, partnership you guys have um, in supporting um, the local businesses, Travis. Um, and so can you, um, I guess first, Shane, uh, do a little more intro on yourself and talk about uh, the kind of mission and vision for Travis Credit Union. Sure. So um, as you said, Shane, Knight, I'm the vice president of business lending here at Travis Credit Union. Um, I've actually only been here for a few months, but I've been in the credit union space for just about 20 years now. Um, so this is uh, sort of a passion for me. I've, I've uh, worked with small businesses throughout my career, including SBA lending or small business administration lending. Um, and, you know, it's really just kind of an exciting thing. I've, I've uh, really enjoyed it because no two businesses are alike. I absolutely love the stories they tell. I love the creativity and passion that business owners have, and it's sort of sparked my own passion to uh, serving those small businesses, which uh, you know really does align with Travis's uh, core values of, of serving our communities. And I'll talk a little bit later about you know what that exactly means to us. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. So, Matt, you um, are a member of Travis. And talk a little bit about Diablo Dog because you defined you, you identified a need and launched your business back in 2013. And, and so talk a little bit about the origin story, if you will, where you are today. Okay, so I, I think it might be a good to go back uh, even further. Uh, I was uh, one of those kids who loved animals, you know, growing up, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Uh, and then I decided against that because of the harder aspects of that sort of job. Um, when I was in high school, I stumbled upon a, a show about a program that's called the Teaching Zoo in Moorpark College and later attended that program. And I worked with all sorts of animals there, um, learned all sorts of aspects of animal care, like veterinary care and, you know, uh, behavior and, and sort of everything else. Uh, and then I worked with uh, tigers after I graduated that program. Um, in New Jersey uh, for a very cool uh, sort of educational, entertaining tiger program. Um, and then after four years, that program ended and I moved back to the Bay Area where I'm from. And uh, I started walking dogs in Oakland, kind of doing what I'm still doing today, but for another company. Mm -hmm. um, and then about a year after that, I started this business uh, in Contra Costa County walking groups of dogs off leash in the areas around here and kind of grew steadily for nine years. And then a year ago, I decided to open up a storefront in Martinez and diversify to pet food and supplies, as well as dog training and dog grooming, uh, which is uh, kind of what Travis helped me do with a big loan. So, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, so you sound like my younger child, loves animals, could not do the harder aspects of, of the veterinarian type job for sure. <laughs> and everybody loves their dogs. So, and, and puts a lot of time and care and money into them. So uh, I've got one at my feet right now. Uh, so how did you come to learn about Travis Credit Union? So when, uh, when I moved back to the area, I needed to have a, a local bank. And uh, my dad was always big uh, into credit unions because of the lack of fees and sort of the local aspect to them. And so I did some research and walked into a Travis credit union and, you know, opened up a personal account. Later on, I opened up a business account and I've just sort of done a lot of my banking, you know, personal and business ever since then. Awesome. A, a convert to credit unions. Yeah. Uh, so yes, Shane, similar to you, I've been in credit unions <clears throat> almost uh, 25 years now. And so they kind of suck you in <laughs> once they get hold of you. Um, so how long has Travis Credit Union been into business lending and how important is that is, to the success of Travis? Here I am asking the, the VP of business lending. <laughs> but well, what I, think, I personally think it's very important, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Travis has been in business lending for coming up on 20 years, actually. Um, 
and obviously I wasn't here for that, but you know, it's about the same time a lot of credit unions just started getting into that. Um, you know, and and I would say in terms of the importance of its success to our credit union, um, look, small businesses are the backbone of our economy and our communities. So uh, if you think about it, here in California, there are about four million small businesses that employ nearly half of our workforce. And in fact, for the last 30 years or so, small businesses have generated about two thirds of net new jobs. So uh, with community focus being one of our core values and uplifting small businesses within our communities is, is very much part of our DNA. Yeah, and so like when you're making loans, like what types of loans are you generally talking about uh, for business loans? Are we talking million dollar condo buildings? Are we talking, you know, yeah. lawnmower loans to uh, a landscaper kind of thing? <laughs> My short answer is yes. Um, so I, I, I kind of just give you an industry overview real quick, and I think it'll contextualize this. Um, credit unions, by and large, we've been primarily focused on commercial real estate. So that's about 90% of the total portfolio. Uh, but when you you know sort of look at what's happened since the pandemic and paycheck protection program, you've seen a lot of credit unions start shifting into that small business segment. Um, Travis, we've been an SBA preferred lender for years. Um, so we do SBA loans, equipment loans, everything from, you know, that $50,000 working capital loan up to that $10, $20 million commercial real estate loan. Mm -hmm. And so what did you think, or I guess you weren't there when that came in for the loan, but um, let's say you were. Uh, somebody comes in and says they want a business loan for a, for a dog walking business and, and, and you know, dog care business. Uh, how do you approach that as a, a, you know, from a risk perspective, all the, all the different things that cranes have to think about? Well, I, th I think, you know, as I mentioned earlier, um, each business is different and I just, you know, you have to dig into the story. Um, I think Matt's business is, is very representative of what many of the small businesses within our communities look like. Not only do they provide, you know, services that are in high demand, but they also contribute to the uh, economic vitality of our communities. So, you know, in the 20 plus years I've been working uh, with small businesses, I've developed a, a deep appreciation for entrepreneurs who have the courage to go out and you know pursue their passion and their dreams. Um, and you know, in terms of working with borrowers, I just I love being able to work with people who have that entrepreneurial spirit, that passion, that creativity. And you know, partnering with Matt's business to me was an opportunity uh, for the credit union to not only help him but you know uplift our communities as well. And so I just find the work overall very fulfilling. Yeah. And as a small business owner, it's, it, it, it's so difficult to get credit, <laughs> uh, especially in those very early days. So uh, Matt, how has it been working with Travis Credit Union? And um, what do you think has been the credit union's uh, contribution to Diablo Dog success? Uh, it's been great. Uh, you know, I've I've worked with Travis for personal and business banking for, I believe, you know, like something like 13 years, uh, I've gotten personal and business loans, car loans, and even the PPP loan uh, through Travis. And uh, the loan I got through Travis last year was vital to to starting up this storefront uh, the way that I wanted to. There's no way, you know, there's no way the space would look this nice. <laughs> and there's no way we can kind of provide all the different aspects of the business that we would have wanted to without getting that loan. Uh, so yeah, it's been huge. Yeah. So talk about you mentioned a little bit, but talk a little bit about how much how you've expanded the business from dog walking to what you're doing now. Yeah. So you know, when I first started the business, I I had a little bit of experience with with kind of doing the off leash dog walking thing, and we were kind of there. There was some competition, but not a whole lot in this area, and so we were able to kind of grow steadily over the years, and. Uh, and, you know, I'm also, I have the animal training background. And so eventually I wanted to sort of add that, but, you know, if you're going to be training dogs, you need to have a place you could do it out of the elements. Um, and so you need a storefront or, you know, a space. Uh, and then, you know, we also kind of saw a need for grooming as well, because, you know, the dogs are out there getting dirty and it'd be nice to also offer that to our customers. Uh, and then uh, the pet food and supplies was actually a, a happy accident uh, because of where we were going to rent. Zoning said that we needed to sell things. And so we decided, well, let's sell everything, you know, let's sell a variety and and kind of make it a real pet store. Mm -hmm. um, and so obviously the costs sort of 
you know, got really big, you know, we had to make changes to the space in order to accommodate grooming, especially. Um, and then just to make this place look nice. And so, you know, Travis's loan was, you know, I, yeah, there's no way I could have done it without Travis's loan. Yeah, there's a lot of things people don't think about, like inventory and equipment and stuff that 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 all adds up, even if some of, I mean, not to mention the space, I can't imagine what it costs there in California. Um, so, uh, Matt, one of the things that credit unions have had issues with is getting people to understand them and who they are and what they do, uh, getting their attention. So what what's the best way would you suggest for credit unions to get attention of the general consumers? Um, I would say, you know, just kind of offering, combining sort of the strengths of the credit union, which is the sort of more personal, more community-based aspects with the sort of ease of using the bigger banks. Um, I think once, you know, once they sort of get the message out there that that you can kind of do a lot of the things through a credit union that you can through a big bank, but you don't have to feel like you're, you know, talking to a robot all the time. <laughs> I think that that helps quite a bit. Um, yeah, I, I would say kind of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So Shane, um, are you hearing some of the same sentiments in the community, uh, small businesses that you are serving as far as, you know, how helpful the credit union is, how it supports the community, um, you know, supports the small businesses, uh, what are you hearing in the community about your business banking? Well, I do hear that quite a lot. Um, look, small businesses aren't looking just to transact with their financial institution, as, as Matt said. Um, you know, they're really looking for a relationship with their banker who understands their business and can provide guidance and advice at times, you know. So I think with big banks, there tends to be that focus on the larger transactions um, or the larger businesses. Um, in fact, I often see ads from larger banks claiming to support small businesses, but you know, many of those banks are just really focused on those of those transactions that are over two hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. So I think you know when it comes to what credit unions can do, you know, we're we tend to be more community based. And I think um, you know when you look at what the needs of small businesses are, two thirds of small businesses who need to borrow money need less than two hundred fifty thousand dollars. And so you know when you think about the economies of scale that are involved in that. Um, you know, you can't afford to underwrite those things like you would a $10 million commercial real estate loan. So you've got to be a little more nimble and able to adapt your processes to the needs of your market. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and Shane, a lot of credit unions aren't involved in business lending. It's either too risky or it's too expensive to get the expertise. Um, what are the rewards? Everybody talks about that. What are the rewards to the credit union? Um, obviously, there's, you know, supporting the community, getting the brand out, um, you know, uh, financial rewards, obviously, you know, lots of different things. But uh, what are you seeing at Travis as the rewards of offering um, small business lending? Well, I think serving small business is at the heart of our mission. So, you know, we're here to uh, address the needs of our communities and to serve the underserved. And, you know, I think, Matt, you would agree that, you know, a lot of uh, banks turn away small businesses and, you know, therefore they're underserved. So I think uplifting small businesses in our communities, um, we're sustaining job creation and overall economic activity, and that ultimately benefits all of our members. And so, you know, I look at the benefit to the credit union, frankly, the success and, um, you know, the success of our members really is reflected within uh, our own success. Mm-hmm. And so I always allow uh, my guests to have the final say, the final thoughts. My husband would be shocked that I allow you the final word. <laughs> I'll start with uh, you, Matt. What are your final thoughts about you know working with credit unions as a small business, uh, small business borrower? Yeah, um, I you know I look forward to working with Travis in the future. Uh, I have plans to kind of further grow my business into sort of obvious spaces like doggy daycare or you know overnight kennel sort of things and those are obviously you know those can be some big sort of uh uh things to uh, uh pursue and mm -hmm. so i will need loans for that um <laughs> but yeah so i'll probably be renting or purchasing land or or more office space and uh and adding those uh so yeah i look forward to working with travis in the future awesome awesome and shane Final thoughts from you. Well, I, I think it's really an exciting time for small businesses and credit unions. Um, 
you know, advancements in technology, especially since paycheck protection, uh, you know, a few years ago, have really helped uh, service an acceleration to the technology. And so when I talk about the, you know, economies of scale and the ability to, you know, really address the needs of small businesses, um, I think we were, you know, fighting for a long time uh, some restraints of our technology. So with Paycheck Protection Loan Program, I think you saw a lot of technology companies kind of change their mindset. Uh, we, we got to, uh, you know, sort of throw out the 1980s style uh, uh, version of analyzing credits. And now we're, we're able to employ more and more technology to, you know, make it an expedited and also an intuitive and, and easy to use platform. So I think you're going to see more and more credit unions uh, serving the small business space. Um, they're going to be doing it more cost effectively. And I think, you know, what once took weeks uh, to approve a loan, uh, we're now down to days and, and soon hours and minutes. So I think ultimately these developments will help uh, credit unions further fulfill their missions and, and help serve these underserved businesses within our communities. Absolutely. That's great to hear, Shane, uh, especially the technology piece. Well, thank you, Matt and Shane, for joining us today. I appreciate your time. Thank, thank you so much. much.